Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. I'm Natalia Schneimuller and I am a coach for all moms of boys and I help all of the women eliminate all the fighting in their life by teaching them and helping them manage their mind, their brain. And I do that by teaching them how to do that so that when anything comes up in their life, they know exactly how to handle everything that comes up in life. So today, one of the topics that I want to talk to you about is all the lies our brain tells us. And if we don't manage our brain, if we don't take a look at what our brain is feeding us, we will be operating under those lies. And if we keep operating under those lies, we will fight with the people in our life and we will um, feel really bad because those are lies. Those are not the truths. And The reason why I call them lies is because they are exactly the opposite of what the truth in your life is. So if we have evidence for something that's true in your life, your brain will tell you something that's exactly the opposite of that. So let me give you a couple of examples. And I just personally got coached this morning and found one of those lies and realize that it's completely not true. Uh, and But while I was believing that it was true, if I felt really terrible. And I was actually kind of acting not like my kind, loving self. I was acting like a frustrated, snappy, not pleasant person to be around. So I'll give you a couple examples. And I, please apply this to yourself. Find how, what are you believing about you that's exactly uh, the opposite of what's actually happening in your life. So one of the things that I came and told my coach, I, f- I said, I feel like I'm, I'm not organized at all. I'm behind on things and I'm sad about that. And as we coached, whatever the magic of coaching happened, I actually realized that I am organized. And as soon as I realized that, I saw all the evidence for it, Um, especially with this month being super busy for my family and myself, uh, having three of my boys have birthdays this month. My dad has a birthday. Our My in-laws have birthdays. So we had two visitors coming this month. So for my mind to tell me that I'm unorganized felt really bad I because I have so much to manage and I want to be organized. And when I took a step back and got coached and I realized, wait a minute, I actually am organized I saw all the evidence. I saw that I've managed everything and everything went really well. I am on top of things. I am addressing things as they come up. I am preparing for things. I'm planning for things. Everything, um, all the kids have what they need. My business has what it needs. Actually, the evidence was supporting the truth, which is I am organized. But my brain somehow got stuck on the thinking that it's not organized. And my coach and I actually had a really like a discussion about this because we are both coaches and we still find these lies in our brain and we still don't understand why we have that. The only explanation that makes sense to us is that it's just habitual thinking or it's just something that... Um, our brain is just wired to look for the negative, to look for problems. And so that's what it does. Otherwise, we have no idea why does it do it? Why doesn't it automatically by default think amazing things about ourselves? We don't know. Once we figure it out, we will tell you. But for now, it is super duper duper helpful to know that our brain by default does not feed us nice stuff. And also, by default, our brain sometimes can tell you a blind lie, even though in your life you are actually operating and organizing and managing and thriving and knocking out of the park. There's evidence for that if you look at it. Your brain can still tell you a lie and completely disregard all that evidence because this is how it works. Once our mind thinks something, believes something, then 
it wants to confirm that as a truth and it only will look for evidence that supports that theory, that supports the hypothesis. And that's why you will disregard all the evidence that you're organized and it will find all the examples that you are unorganized. For example, my brain was just saying, oh, well, look at all these things that still have to be done. Completely disregarding everything that I have done, disregarding um, the results of all my organization, the successful birthday parties, um, coached clients, the host, you know, hosting guests, you know, making dinners, all of that going smoothly and successfully and still managing everything. It disregarded all of that. It just looked at the future and it said, oh, well, you haven't done this and this and this. You still have to do this and this and this. And so that's what it was doing. So that's the lie number one is that I am unorganized. And, and the coaching really helped me to see that wait a minute, I am organized. And I came up with a hundred examples of how I am organized. And there was like a weight off my shoulders was lifted because I realized that, yes, it's a sentence in my brain, but also it's a complete lie. It's just a lie. The truth is, is my life. The truth is what happened already this month. And then there's a statement that's completely not true. So that was a bit infuriating because I spent... I don't know how many days feeling bad that I'm unorganized and I didn't have to, right? So then, of course, it trickled down into how I'm showing up with my boys, with my husband, and I was just not a pleasant person to be around, right? So it causes fights. It can cause fights if you are not in kind of being honest with yourself and and pausing to process the emotions and pausing to see how what are you believing about yourself, and really questioning that. The another example I'm going to give you is that um, someone I coached, my friend, a couple weeks ago, and she was working from abroad, and we coached on the fact that she says, "Oh, I, I'm not working." I always wanted to work from another place, but I'm not working. I feel like I'm not working from another place, another country, and. As I asked her about what she's been doing, the, all the facts pointed that she actually is doing work in another country. So again, another example of how the brain was completely lying to her and saying, you're not working from another country. And she was saying, and what she was actually doing, she was actually working from another country. So that was also a really funny session where she realized, oh, right, I am actually doing what I wanted to be doing. I'm not sure why my brain is saying that. So it just takes a bit of waking up, a little bit of shaking up. So where where are you doing that in your life where you're completely living one thing but believing another thing? Like I've coached people who are confident women who run meetings, who are leaders, who are bosses, and they come to me and they say, I'm not confident. And it takes, it took a while for me to show them uh, that, hey, by the way, did you notice that you're actually confident? You are actually the person you want to be, but they're not seeing it because their brain is blocking all of that evidence because by some weird default, they're believing they're not confident. So they're, they're, so then that in turn kind of makes them less confident even though they're showing up confident in, you know, where they, where they need to. Um, another example, really awesome example. Um, I coached someone who said to me, "Oh, I, you know what? I'm not consistent in doing self um, improvement work." And that was really funny because I've known that person for for 20, 30 years. And as long as I remember them, they have been doing self-improvement work, reading self-help books and doing self-help things and practicing and learning and applying. And all my life, I've seen them do that. And when she said, I haven't been, you know, I'm not consistent, again, there was another lie. And I had to point it out to her and I say, you know what? Uh, you probably are the most consistent person I know in doing this work because you constantly do it, take a break, do it, take a break, right? Like we don't do it 24-7, right? 
And that was something that her brain was really hard for her to click. Um, but her brain just wanted to deny all that and say, no, I'm not doing it consistently. Um, and another, like a last example I'm going to give you is a couple of years ago, I, I think I might have already even shared it with you, is that I remember saying to someone that I don't cook. And at that, right away, my brain woke up and I, I said, what, what do you mean I don't cook? I just cooked breakfast, lunch, and dinner for my family of six. So that was just another bold lie that my brain picked up somewhere and I had to bust it open because it made me feel, well, that one was fine, but it was, it was just not true. So sometimes some of these lies can make us feel really, really bad and cause us to show up in not loving ways to ourselves. And then we're going to start fights with people we love. So I want you to be on to yourself and really ask yourself, is this actually true? When I say this about myself, is this true? Or is it half true, right? It could be half true. It could be whatever, 30% true. So because honestly, we can actually find truth for both both scenarios. Always. You can always say, you know what? I am organized and I'm unorganized. And that kind of helps you shift, shake that belief. It helps you break it down a bit because you might not able be able to jump to the other extreme right away. So then you can just shift it. When you've talked, you heard me talk about it before. Just try to shift it a little bit. Just say, you know, maybe both are true. How is this possible? Maybe I'm both. Maybe I'm organized and unorganized. Well, for sure, I can find evidence for both. And then you can move your way around to the fully organized if you want to. Right. But I, in my case, it was like a moment of aha moment. Like, wait a minute. How can I even be saying this? Because I've been killing it all month. Yes. Maybe I'm tired. Yes. Maybe I'm overwhelmed sometimes when I look at my to do list. But if you look at me execute and look at the results, you can definitely, you know, make an argument that I am organized. So, hey, brain, you are wrong. I am organized. Okay, guys. So, Ask yourself, how are you wrong about some of the things you're saying about yourself, if especially if they're negative? And this is what I always say, if you're believing a lie, you will feel really bad. So therefore, if you're feeling really bad, just find out what lie you're believing and then bust it open. Question it. Okay, guys, you know where to find me. If you need any help with your relationships, with figuring out all these lies, you can always find me on my website, www.coachingnatalia.com. Go to sign up for a free session. I'm happy to help you. And I wish you a great week. And don't believe the lies your brain tells you if they feel bad. If your brain's telling you something amazing, keep believing it. All right? I love you guys. Bye.